Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Trillium Tarot. Uh, this is Stephanie, and I'm so thankful that you are joining me to flip through another tarot deck. Before I dive in, please do give the video a thumbs up because it truly does help the channel. It just takes a second. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. This deck that we are going to flip through is the Buckland Romani Tarot deck, and it is one that I um, ordered from my favorite Ukrainian Etsy shop. I'm sharing it on the screen there. Uh, Uliana at Devani Shop is a really sweet person to work with. Um, she is based in Ukraine. So I, as, as you know, I strongly encourage people to um, support the, the people who are actually physically there in the middle of dealing with all of this, uh, war in general, winter, and so on. Um, so I encourage you to visit her website. Uh, the last time I was out there, there is a bit over 100 decks. Uh, the majority of them are tarot. There are some a couple of Oracle decks and some Lenormand decks as well. So check it out. I think you'll like it. Now, this deck is um, called the Buckland Romani Tarot deck. Uh, this is uh, authored by or based on Raymond Buckland. I don't know if he actually physically drew these cards because that, that this deck didn't come with a book. And even if it did, it would be in um, Ukrainian or Cyrillic or something along those lines. But Raymond Buckland uh, is one of the two main sources that we have for information, at least written in the English language, uh, about Wiccan tradition. Um, not paganism in general, but Wiccan specifically. Uh, I just, I looked him up on Wikipedia and he was of mixed heritage. Uh, his mother was English and his father is what they called, at least at the time, uh, called English Gypsy. So that would be a good reason why he would be interested in maintaining images of uh, the Romani lifestyle and family structure and activities and so on. So we just flipped through the major arcana, and now we're going to start going through the minor arcana. Now you can see, as you know, I usually tend to start my minor arcana with the suit of swords. And in this deck, yes, you see the sword imagery there, but it is called the Ace of Shivs. And we, we, we're all familiar with what shivs uh, imply in American or US culture. Uh, but I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> that was a bad pun. I wanted to point that out uh, because even though it's called something differently on the card itself, you can easily see what it indicates based on the imagery. Um, eight, nine. Let me turn down this music a little bit. It never fails when I start as I'm preparing for doing a video, the music is pretty quiet. And then when I actually get into the video, then they decide to go all bananas on me. Okay, so that was the suit of swords. And here we have the suit of wands. Again, it's called something else on the bottom of the card, uh, but it's easily distinguishable as a wand. <clears throat> uh, the four. And you can see some of the imagery, granted some of it is very different than what we're used to in the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, but for the most part, you can tell um, that it follows along with the same general imagery. I am trying to not go too quickly. I want to have the lighting and the, the focus keep up with what I'm, uh, the card that I'm showing. I hear a cat talking in the background, so if you are able to hear him over the sound of the piano, that is Pikey, or Pike, my black cat, my one-eared black cat. So here we have the suit of cups, and the imagery uh, throughout all of these cards will be a cauldron, or a cup, or a goblet, or you know some vessel that holds liquid. Um, it, on the card itself, it's called Koros. If I'm pronouncing that, I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but um, here we have teacups, milk cans, more cups, uh, planters, things that hold plants, cups and saucers, milk jugs, more milk jugs, 
Here's a cup, milk jug, a milk jug being used as a planter. <laughs> and there we have the king. Now the final suit is the suit of pentacles. And you can see it's called bowlers or bolers uh, on these cards. And they're depicted by wheels. Uh, four, five, Hi, Pikey. Yeah, that's a good spot for you to curl up. Good boy. Uh, ten. And we have the page, the knight, the queen, and finally, the king. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I would also appreciate it if you would leave an, you know, either a comment or something as simple as an emoji in the comments beneath the video because that helps it as well. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out Devani Shop and I look forward to the next video.